Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a high top ponytail on a natural fro. Yes, this is my real hair. I cut my hair, all my hair off like a year ago. I think it's coming, I think it's a year already. I'm not too sure, but I know I cut my hair off a year ago and now it's growing back. Cut my hair because I had, um, well, the doctor diagnosed me with alopecia and psoriasis in my head, so my hair was just so messed up so i had to cut it there is a buster it's like more easier to blow dry and stuff like that and when i fly in it so i put that in my hand and i swirl it around like that and i just put it all over my hair like this i want my ponytail to be like right like more so up here to the front of my head last time i had this high top ponytail it was more so like a little to the back but so what I'm gonna do is start off with the spritz I'm gonna spray the back especially to get it mainly for the back the back kind of be like the hardest part to get straight cuz I get when my hair is kind of my hair is wet it gets really curly you know I have 4c hair so y'all know what I'm talking about so I have to get the back in order first in order to get the front in order so that's it this time around with my ponytail more so to the top of my head like right there so and if you guys wasn't paying attention that in the beginning of my video I cut all my hair off a year ago because I was diagnosed with alopecia and psoriasis in my scalp. So my hair was falling out. And I thought the best way for my to grow my hair back would be to cut it. I have cut my hair plenty of times in the past. So it really it wasn't like a big deal for me. And actually alopecia runs in my family. My mom has alopecia. So I mean, it wasn't such a big deal. A couple years ago, I would have been crying, boohooing, like, oh my God, I got alopecia. Y'all see, my edges is on life support from these damn lace front wigs. But, now y'all see why I really wear wigs and I really don't wear my real hair out. This is why. Due to all this shit going on in my head. So I have the desired look that I want my ponytail to go now I'm just making sure it's nice and tight so yeah and that's good for me right there is good now I just gotta work my magic or whatever to get it really really sleek I use the got to be glue and I go in with the gel I noticed that when I used the got to be glue, it really makes my, my hair really hard and straight. I don't have to worry about my hair, um, you know, curling up or anything like that. Cause usually if I put gel, I get, I get the wavy pattern in my hair. But with this, when I mix this bad boy with some gel, let me tell you something. My ponytail have come out sleek. So I like to start with the back. I feel like the back for me is the most hard part for my hair type to get really straight or whatever. So going that gel. Get it in. And honestly, these ponytails last me like a good week before I take it out and do it again. Like, this is going to be my second, this is going to be the, um, my second week, but I just took it out because I'm off today, so, like, you know what, I'm going to do my ponytail over. So, that's what I'm doing now, doing it over. The back is good. For me. When I know my back is good, I know my front is going to be good. I told you my edges is on life support, so definitely got to work with my edges. 
Like, it really is a lot when it comes to my, I gotta really, like, do a lot of shit to make my edges look like thing, yeah. I mean, I got edges, clearly, but it ain't enough. So now I'm just mixing that got to be good with the gel. So I'm about to put this bad boy on my hair. Where you been, where you been? Just a friend, just a friend. Okay. My intuition never lie. I'm deny. should be looking on the camera but yeah, I'm back so this is the ponytail right here it's a 30 inch synthetic drawstring ponytail that I'm gonna show you how to slay it in a minute I'm gonna hurt my son for waking up my other son right boy And what I do to make my edges look a little fuller is I get black dye, I mix it with the gel, and then I put it on my hair. And just apply it to the spots where it look a little iffy at. You get what I'm saying? And then I just blend it in like that. So, yeah. Don't come for me either. Don't come for me. All right, because my edges is on, I was about to say child support. They on life support. I ain't going to lie. My edges is definitely on one. Then I go over it with the got to be glue. So it could be nice and secure. Boom. This side. This side is really tricky. Honestly, it's two the combs I usually use this comb only I don't put this comb I don't put both combs and stretch it because that shit hurts my head after a while and I start getting a headache and it's just painful so I just only use this comb so let's show you so oh yeah, no, you really can't see so I'm gonna look in this mirror right here so I'm gonna put it right the hook there. The hook. Boom. That's good. Right where I want it. Now I'm just going to squeeze the drawstrings and make it tight. Boom. Joseph, get out. Run here out that I will be using to put the hair around the ponytail so I'm just gonna take like this much right here to the front I'm gonna keep that to 
the front. This is the hair that I'll be using. Okay, so I got the hair that I want to use in the front that I'm going to go around the ponytail with. So, what I like to do is spray the part that I'll be putting around. I like to actually put gel on it as well. So gotta get it a little... I'm gonna start off going this way. Right? You take the hair. Bring it around tight. Just keep going around until you get it nice and sleek. Points I look like crap right now, but watch when I'm done with it. You know, like, dang, girl, did you go to the beauty salon? I mean, the salon is a beauty salon. be like no sis I did it myself watch my channel to learn now I put got to be glue around it too because the got to be glue makes it hard it makes it stick so yeah so now see how I got that nice and done see my hair is already starting to curl up now take the spritz again Usually I would blow dry it and all that good stuff, but uh, I told y'all in the beginning my blow dryer is cutting the fuck up for some reason. I really don't have the energy to fucking deal with it. So, boom. Now this is the sleek ponytail, and this drawstring ponytail is synthetic. I like that. See, when I put it up top right here, it gives me that um, half down, half up little look effect so that's another reason why i really really like this so now what i'm gonna do is just put a scarf on my head so my hair in the front is already starting to like get wavy that wavy pattern i was telling you about when my hair gets wet or whatever so since i put the gel in it i need to put a head tie on but this drawstring is 30 inches. I washed it today because I had it on for a week already. So I'm just going to do my edges like literally one more time with this got to be glue. So yeah, this is the finished look. Anybody can achieve this on any hair type. So yeah. I'll definitely come back with a makeup tutorial and show you guys the as an official finish look this is how you will achieve a sleek up top ponytail for 4c hair or how i achieve it and it works for me um watching my video thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you for rocking with me for who i really am and you know not getting caught up in the instagram social media you know makeup all that good stuff this is really who i am with no makeup on and i love it like 
it is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment below if you want more hair tutorials on how I do my hair because I never go to the beauty salon. Every hairstyle you ever see on my channel, I do it myself. So if you want to see how I do my hair, comment below, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and yeah. Mwah.